Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. Long time no see. I feel like I have not vlogged in pretty much forever. So tonight we have a, another theme party. I know you guys have probably seen a few of these, but um, yeah, it's actually called Dirty Disney. So I'm excited. I've done five contracts on cruise ships. So this is my fifth year. I just actually celebrated my five year anniversary on the fifth yeah, I'm pretty sure 5th of February. And surprisingly enough, like Disney parties happen all the time on cruise ships and I just happen to never have done one. So I'm actually really excited to do it. Um, I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to be yet. I'm kind of going to let um, the makeup and the costume and stuff speak for itself later on in the vlog. But yeah, it is time for me to start getting ready. I'm actually kind of doing something new makeup wise. I'm gonna try to do something new makeup wise that I've never done before. So I'm kind of giving myself a lot of extra time to get ready. Um, just in case for any reason like it doesn't work out, I wanna be able to wash my face and do like more of a normal makeup routine, I guess. So it is 9.25 p.m., which I know to most of you is like, well, that's really late. But like most parties on ships don't start until like 11.30 or midnight because everybody's working. So honestly, the later you get there, the better, the more uh, lit, as the cool kids would say, the party is going to be. So I'm going to start getting ready and um, I will check in with you guys in a little bit, either partway through the makeup or once the makeup's done or I'm not really sure yet, but I will be checking in with you guys soon. See you later. Okay, guys. This is my third attempt at covering up my eyebrows. <laughs> I just want it to work so bad because it's going to make my costume look so cool. But if it doesn't work out, if it looks like crap, I wanted you guys to see that I was trying. So, But I've literally been doing this for like 45 minutes and I'm really running behind because it's now 20 after 10 and I am still not ready at all. So fingers crossed that this works or else I'm literally scrubbing this off my face. Okay. So this is more successful than the other attempts I've had. Michael's now in here, guys. Hello. Hello. Thought that people should see. Give the people what practice. they want. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> you look like a naked mole rat. I feel like um, wasn't there like that movie from the nineties, like Coneheads or something? Yeah. That's what I feel like when they're like that, like talk like that. She's just featureless, guys. Oh my god, I just feel like Cake City ball change. You know, like. I'm basically Kick, living Kick my City. drag queen dream, so I better just get over it. As opposed to every other day? Well, shut it, up. I knew you were going to say <laughs> something like that. Alright, we're getting closer. Do you guys have any idea who I am? Stay tuned. She's coming together, honey. You look crazy. Once again, say hello. Hey. Hi. We have the bra braid mistresses doing my braids for underneath my wig. <laughs> Can you guys tell who I am yet? I still haven't told you. I haven't put the wig on yet. As soon as I put the wig on, you're gonna know. But my friend Danielle's here too. She's hiding in the corner over there. She's um doing some makeup as well, but ah, it's getting so much closer. Hello. Hello. Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. And my puppy. And my other puppy. We're ready for the party. So this is what all the drama was for. These effing eyebrows, but I think it's. Do you think it's you worth it? it? It really turned out. It hurts. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of into this look. Like I, I kind of know why drag queens love to do what they do. Cause I'm kind of feeling these brows right now. You know, can I do these brows every day? Yeah, I thought That's you were a drag so queen lovely. before, but like, nah. they you, took it, you took it to okay, a new level. Okay, so Michael over here has literally called me a drag queen for years, but he literally never knew the potential that was really possible that was, here. That was hiding within your being. Here you are. This hair, I just really want it to flip out, but like she really wants to go under. So we're gonna call that side Barbara. She's gonna live but this life. side's like Josie. This is Josie, this is Barbara, because this side doesn't want to play. This and the whole thing is Joe Barbara. Like, Joe Barbara. All right, we've got Cruella DeVille doing oh, Ursula's oh, makeup. Ooh! What are we doing here? Can you give me a little flip of Pierce purple contour. We're basically zhuzhing her. Yeah, Take, correct. Taking her to the next one. Taking her to the next one. Well, Rochelle, nice how do you feel about that? I'm fine. Okay, great. I'm glad because it's going on your face. I need to be on level 10 anyway. Go big or go home. Hey guys, so I wanted to end this vlog properly because I'm very bad about ending it abruptly, but it is 3.22 in the morning. As you can see, Cruella has lost her wig. She has a wig cap. I just came back from the party. It was a lot of fun. Um, there were a lot of random and fun characters. It's always kind of fun to do a theme party because you literally never know 
who's going to show up as what, and honestly, like, when I was thinking about doing Corella de Ville, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, everybody's going to come. That's very abrasive. Everybody's going to come as her, but, like, literally no one came as Corella de Ville. There was Ariel, there was Ursula, there was Tweedledee and Tweedledum, there was Jasmine and Aladdin, like, there were so many other ideas, and nobody came as me, and I was so excited, and I don't know about you guys, I could be a bit biased, but I'm really proud of my makeup, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. You got to see the struggles, you got to see the transformation, and this is kind of, like, really pushed me, I think, to my, my artistic levels and shown me that I can do more than I think I'm capable of because I've kind of gotten comfortable in what I'm good at and what I can do. And you know what? The amount of compliments that I got tonight on my abilities have really shown me that, like, I should keep pushing myself and strive to be better because this is something I'm super passionate about. I love makeup. Like, it was annoying because it took me three tries tonight to get this right, but like at the end of the day, I mean, let's be honest, I know I look crazy now, but at the end of the day, it was so worth it because the end outcome and like the reaction I got from people when I rounded the corner or when they saw me for the first time was so incredible. And I just need to keep pushing myself to be better because I know I can do it. And the more I practice and the more I try, the better I'm going to get at this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you, as bad as it sounds, enjoyed my struggle and um, got to be a part of the experience of me figuring out how to do this. Because drag queens, honey, they got to figure it out. And this was tough, honey. This actually, if you like, I will zoom in. Like, does not even look that good. But from far away... She looks like a pro. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down below. Share it with all of your friends. If you would also like this video, I would very much appreciate it. It really does help me. And until I see you guys in the next one, as me and my lips say, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, so, I know I technically ended the vlog, but... I kind of wanted to give you guys the satisfaction of this, but it's really depressing because honestly, you see what this is? This, my friends, is a makeup wipe, and I'm about to take off the hours of work eh, that I put in on this makeup, but I feel like if I vlog it, it's a little more, like, satisfactory, so let's have a moment of silence because I spent so much time on these brows because... I've never done this before, you guys. Like, okay, let's be fair. Like, from really close up, it's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. But from a distance, like, from like a solid three feet, Cruella was living her dreams. So, we have a makeup wipe. I'm about to get in the shower, but I figured, you know, let's embarrass myself. Let's, like, share this moment and experience with the world, because why not? So, makeup wipe, eyebrow. You guys ready? Let's do this. Uh, oh, look at that. There's a brow under there. See, and honestly, I'm going to tell you guys the honest to God truth. These eyebrows would have been a lot easier to cover up because I don't have that much hair. But I do have my microblading. And so the pigment was the hardest thing to cover up. Let's take a moment. This is going to be so red because I just rubbed that so hard. But, like, Cruella brow, Danielle brow. Cruella, Danielle, Cruella, Danielle. What do you guys think? I think the costume was pretty successful. I kind of forgot I had these lashes on. Whew. Pull those off while we're at it. Number two. Thank you so much. But... So there is a prime example of exactly the difference between what I look like and what I don't. Ooh, that is red. That is not going to be pleasant tomorrow. But I will say it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I thought this would kind of be like a satisfying end of the vlog. Taking off the makeup. Because, like, you guys get to see it being put on a lot. But do you ever really get to see it taken off? I don't think so. Thank you guys again. We will see you in the next vlog. Bye, you guys.